Hey everybody, Haku here with my review of Kujira no Koro Wasajo ni Uta, or Children of the Whales Episode 3. Thought I was prepared for the feels that were incoming this episode that I could obviously tell were coming, I feel like most people could. Um, gosh, I, I thought I was prepared, but this left me quite depressed for quite some time So uh, after watching it. So, uh, yeah, man, I just... I, the first thing, we see them shooting at Taisha in the opening sequences, and of course, spo spoilers throughout this review, because we're talking about an episode where a shit ton of people died, obviously. But uh, the first thing, I saw them shooting into the place where Taisha was, and I just, <laughs> my notes have, you fucks better not have. <laughs> and uh, the fucks did. Uh, but the battle moles find some soldiers. They start getting killed. Oni asks to be let out because stuff is going down. And Oni, I think, is my favorite character right now. Um, possibly. Oh, I like Suo a lot too, but maybe Oni. Just because when... It's like there's a time for peace and a time for defending yourself if that means killing the enemies. And I think this is the time to defend yourself even if it means killing the enemies when they're literally marching through slaughtering children. That, <laughs> that is quite literally the, uh, the time to fight back. Um, so yeah, my waifu died, episode 3. Taisha is... damn. So, I guess I'm waifu -less for the rest of the se season, series, even. Um, so yeah, everyone's dead. The Sammy scene was heartbreaking and really good where, um... Chakuro was running with her body like you're not heavy at all and we had the flashbacks and stuff that was really really good I like that scene a lot I mean uh, it's it's hard to say you like it because you're like depressed that this happened but at the same time storytelling that that was good that was really good um, so there's a guy chronicling the extermination for the other country that's exterminating them and I do that's like his brother I believe I forget his name already, but he's the commander guy. Um, so Lyco starts fighting back. Suo finds the kids, or yeah, Suo finds a bunch of kids. They find out that the elders are just leaving them to die. And just if out of anyone to die, why couldn't they kill the elder council? They're really, really shitbags, just left them to die. And I feel like if they told them from the beginning, not, oh, we'll tell you what's going on when you reach 61 years old, if they told everyone from the beginning, hey, we're being hunted because we're accepting that emotions are a good thing, I think that they would have been much more prepared to defend themselves and not just gotten slaughtered. So, um, yeah, I blame a lot of this on the Elder Council. And of course, emotion people are the good guys here, because we see without emotions that you just slaughter children, <laughs> which is a bad thing. Um, so, anything else? Suo says to assemble the defense force and everyone together, and he's going to try to negotiate, which is dumb. You you can't negotiate when you try to talk and they just shoot you, um, which is what's going on here, um, because they don't have emotions. Uh, Oni saves the remaining Bao Moles. The girl from the defense for force wants revenge. Uh, she is in the opening, so I'm assuming she's going to be kind of import important. Uh, the one soldier guy we see a lot throughout the episode, too, and I think he's cool. I forget his name, though. Was he, like, Chaso or something like that? Um, uh, Suo wants peace and negotiation, but he sees Oni killing the soldiers. He's like, well, I guess this is how this is ending up. Uh, the kids are running towards Chakuro, the ones that he lives with, and um, we find out that... Uh, hold on. I think I got off somewhere. Oh, yeah, Chakuro had pretty much accepted his death. He was like, okay... I'm just going to die here with Sammy, but then the kids are running towards him, so he's forced to fight back. The OST was great during that. I loved seeing just a glimpse of what it would be like for Chakuro to, fi to fight back, and I'm really excited to see more of this, because I want it to be that slow build where he doesn't want to fight people, he doesn't want to kill people, but over the course of the series, he just does some things that he has to learn to live with uh, in order to promote the better good of children not being slaughtered. So, uh, I, I'd say that's, that's where I would, uh, want Chakuro's, that's what I want to see with Chakuro's character some. Uh, the soldiers, he finds out from knocking one of their masks off, they look like Lycos, they have the same sort of skin tone and the, I don't even know what the, the pastel hair colors. Um, we find out Lycos is the younger sister of the extermination's commander. Leontari is somebody who shows up. They act like they have emotions. Um... So maybe they do, or maybe they're just faking the emotions, but they act 
really screwed up, but excitement and being really screwed up is kind of an emotion. Negative ones in this circumstance, but I mean, uh, they're emotions, so maybe not everybody has emotion. Uh, apparently Lycos, Lycos' name was Lycos number 32. Um, we see the troops start withdrawing because they took the noose from the island. Uh, Suo finds the others, which is just sad, so sad. Um, Lycos is being left there to serve as an experiment, and she's her name is changed to Skylos sample number four. Uh, Oni says that he found out that they're going to attack in seven days through torture, which whoever the one soldier dude's name, Chazo or whatever, is pretty upset about. But torture, I, I could never advocate for because in general it doesn't really work. But, you know, it's one of those ends justify the means, who is evil, who is good things, where Oni did an evil thing but for a good purpose, and Chasso was just lost on what he should do in the moment. Um, so it develops their characters further. Uh, they have the funerals the next day, everybody's crying. Um, Chakuro and Oni. I like the way that their characters were developed, where they were both brought to the point where they said they're over the world, they're done with it. But with Oni, it was more like... And I like that we got to see that with the two characters juxtaposed with one another, where Oni is like, so this is what the world is like. I'm done with the world, as if he wants to destroy it because the outside world is so evil. And with Chakuro, it's like, if this is what the world is out, or is out there, I'm done with it, as in he sort of lost the will to live and move on. So I like that, how it's the two different things where they've both been brought to kind of hate the world outside because of this, but one more so wants to destroy it because it's so evil and wants kind of revenge in a little bit of a way, and one in the way that they're done with it, their friend died, they just don't have the will to go on anymore right now. So it'll be interesting to see how both of those characters develop in the future. I thought the episode was just beautiful, sad, depressing. Um, it was great character development and a good kickoff for the uh, future of the show. That episode three kickoff, as we usually get. Um, I I just I'm really excited. I want to see like Oni, Suo, Chakuro, and Lycos fighting back. Maybe not like physically fighting back all the time, but sort of rebelling against whatever this Skylos group or whatever is. So I'm really excited because even then, the Skylos thing is just another floating island ship thing. Uh, we don't even know what any of the mainland might be like or the struggles they might have. They might have struggles there between people who want emotions and people who don't and infighting there that we have yet to find out about. So I just thought it was great. Uh, nine exterminations out of ten sad but great. Uh, that's it. Thank you once again for watching. Like if you did like the video and comment down there to tell me what you thought of this episode and my thoughts on it. Um, subscribe for more of this. Many more shows on the channel including um, Juni Tyson, Hoseki no Kuni, um, Motsukani Ome, and there was at least one more there that I am leaving out for whatever reason. Shoujo Shimatsu Ryoko. That was it. Man, mine went blank. Uh, follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel or talk to you there. And if you want a link to our Discord server, ask and I'll give you one. That's it. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you all next time.